up you guys how's everybody doing coming to you from the forest today hope everybody's having a good day I uh, having a really slow day with deliveries and uh, I was feeling frustrated I was feeling worried because of course I have bills due like everybody else and um, I was sitting in my hot car and I thought, you know what, I can either sit here and worry or I can go to the forest for a little while, walk around and bring my cards, you know, and um, get grounded, get centered. And I tell you what, it helped. So I found this on the way. I'm not sure what kind of bird, but it's a really pretty little feather. I saw two blue jays and a cardinal, if that means anything to anybody. And I was hearing the song by U2, um, I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For. And I actually just looked up the lyrics because it's such an old song. It was 1987. So somebody that's listening that year could be the year you were born or the year a significant event happened. Um, that's actually the year that the harmonic convergence happened. But anyway. I would suggest looking up the lyrics if you feel called to because I don't think I've ever really like fully listened to all of it or or paid attention but it's uh, some pretty profound lyrics so let's see what else did I see oh I took a picture of a really cool tree tree branch that was sticking out like this and up like this and then with the trunk of the tree it looked like a giant number four so that was cool um, so I'm back today with this combined duck, so it's giant. I thought we'd get a few cards from here and then get a couple of spirit animals. And then this deck I haven't used in so long. It was one of the first ones I bought off of Etsy or Instagram or something. It doesn't even have a name of the deck. That's the artist's name. Um, but I thought that would be fun to pull a couple from as well. Okay. going to ask spirit and our angels and spirit guides what message does the collective need to hear today or whenever they're viewing this video Whoop. first two cards we've got six of swords healing begins I'm really being drawn to this green down here and then the green at her heart chakra so it's almost like the green from the earth you know that healing energy coming up from the earth and then connecting with the heart the six of swords talks about uh, you know seeking a calmer environment moving on to where healing like this card says where healing can begin and then interestingly enough, <laughs> the other card is Heal, which in this deck, it's the Major Arcana 17, the star. So we've got Heal and Healing Begins to start our reading off. So this reading is obviously for anybody out there who is on a healing journey, who is thinking about a healing journey, who is, um, you know, wondering if they can break the chains, chains that bind them. So this could be the chains of addiction, codependency, um, the chains of, you know, any unhealthy mindset, unhealthy habits, anything that keeps us uh, from being our highest potential. We think of chains as like also you know being chained to the material realm so anything that keeps us where we can't be free to explore higher consciousness I mean even my situation today where it was like I was so in my head because I was not getting any orders and I'm thinking okay I've got this bill due on this day and this on this day and I've got this cleaning job and this cleaning job but I need to be making money in between all of those I was chained to all of those fears in my mind and I couldn't snap out of the mental um, 
stronghold, you know, and that's why I came out here and I'm so glad I did. So we're starting with these two. So spirit, sorry I keep changing positions. I'm on a little bit of a slope. <clears throat> Look at this beautiful ground cover back here. I'm not sure what kind of plant that is, but it's so bright green, it's beautiful. What else do we need to know about this healing? What else do we need to know about this healing? Reach out. I think we got this one the other day too. So in this deck, the red is the pentacles. So three of pentacles talks about working with others. And you can see how these hands are creating a place for her to, to sit and rest. And to me, in relation to healing, that talks about, you know, using your support system, finding, if you don't have a support system that's nearby you, then finding some sort of online support, online therapy, finding, a good counselor. Um, it can just talk about reaching out to a friend or a family member that you trust. I know I have a problem with that. So maybe somebody out there also has a problem with isolating when they're feeling um, feeling the weight of a healing journey that needs to happen, or that um, you know a specific issue that keeps bubbling up and it's hard to reach out for help sometimes so i think spirit's just encouraging us there to to reach out for help oh that one fell without me even shuffling we got this one the other day too so to me this talks about also with reaching out for help we do have help that can come in from the higher realms and having that clear open crown chakra can allow that information to come in, the healing um, wisdom, the angelic support, the support from spirit guides, passed over loved ones, all of that can flow down into our awareness through the crown. What else, spirit? Please and thank you. Thank you for the messages you've already given us. Seems like they're all coherent today. Is there anything else we need to know from this deck? Find balance. So now we have the three and the two of pentacles. So there could be, there could be an, a specific area of life where you're needing to find balance, or this could indicate too that there's there's things that you're juggling. If you think about the traditional tarot deck, he's got the two pentacles and there's the infinity symbol and he's keeping them both in the air. So there could be two things, you know, going on in your life and it feels like one is outweighing the other and you can't focus on anything else. And so this card is calling you to find the balance. And here it's depicted as a circle. got six sections actually it looks like it's um well I won't interpret that part I'll let you guys look at it but I definitely see the light in the middle and obviously in a circle there's everything has you know all the pieces of the pie are evenly divided you can see the different areas of life depicted I feel like there's one more that wants to come out to close out this part.
opportunity beckons. Okay, let me think. Green, I'm sorry I have to keep doing this. Green in this deck, because each of the decks have a different color. These are both by the same uh, creator, John Holland. Let me look real quick and see another green card. Okay, so these are cups. So the Four of Cups can talk about focusing, he's, see how his head's down? He's focusing on what he's lost or what has been taken away. And right behind him is the infinity symbol and what looks like a whole like other world or cosmos. Um, but he's looking down at what he's lost and right behind him are infinite possibilities, infinite potentials. That's how I'm interpreting that one. And so opportunity beckons, meaning like the opportunities are there. And in this case, with this reading, it could mean opportunities for healing are available, but we're, our focus is turned to the past and it's turned to past losses or mistakes instead of seeing what opportunity lies in those lessons that can propel us into the future for new opportunities. Thank you, Spirit. That was a beautiful message. So what animals can support us right now on this healing journey? Our beautiful animal allies. What would you like to say to us today? Each of these has a message. This isn't so big, so I can shuffle it regularly too. Let me do that. It feels so nice sitting on these pine needles. <laughs> if you guys have a pine forest near you, you should definitely go sit in some pine needles. The lizard dream time. Pay attention to your dreams and visions. So you could be getting healing messages in your dreams. You could be, that could be your daydreams or your nighttime dreams. You could be getting um, even a deeper understanding of certain situations that you're trying to heal from. So maybe keeping a dream journal. I'm so bad about that. I'll admit it. <laughs> I think it's because I often wake up and don't remember my dreams because I wake up unnaturally with a alarm clock every day which this is the last week of school yay kids and i'll get to wake up naturally all right thank you lizard what else who else wants to come out and show support for the collective Animals are being quiet today. I don't know. Maybe all about the dream time. Oop. Giraffe, foresight. You are able to see what is in store for the future. So tap into giraffe spirit. Again, like all these are going together for me because when you are in the midst of emotional pain or turmoil or, you know, some sort of crisis or tragedy or anything like that that requires healing, your worldview can shrink so much to where that's all you can see is that immediate moment and future and everything can feel like it's closing in on you. So Giraffe is saying, tap into my ability to see above, to see the long view, you know, to see um, possibilities again for the future. Where was this? The opportunity beckons. So Giraffe can help us see outside of that bubble of immediacy where it's like, I feel like I'm going to die. You know, nothing's ever going to get better. 
and Giraffe is saying, I'll help you to see those opportunities. I'll help you to see the potentiality of the future. You know, I'll help you to have the foresight to know that this too shall pass and I will um, be able to feel limitless again and feel like the, the future is open and that the future is bright. Giraffe's one of my favorite cards in the deck. I love it so much. All right, so let's get one of these beauties. I might read from the book for this because I haven't, I literally haven't picked this up in years. Um, and we can look at the image and try to get insight and then I'll see what the author actually wanted to say about it. It's very short uh, little descriptions. There it is. <laughs> I swear spirit, I love you spirit. It's like everything always lines up in these readings. So looking forward, right? Foresight, looking forward, tapping into those future possibilities. This looks like the sun up here pouring down all the rainbow rays. Let's see what the author says. Let's see, page 21. That number could mean something to you or three. Be aware. Do not become complacent. It is easy to fall into being automated, but it is here we lose attention to detail. Try instead to go through life as if everything is happening for the first time. Stay curious. It will help you improve. Short and sweet. This is what the little guidebook looks like. All right, you guys. I hope that message helped someone out there or maybe just sitting in the forest with me for a little while helped. Here, I'm gonna hold it up actually, so you guys can get a view, it's so pretty. <laughs> There's my forehead. All right, see you guys later, bye.